All right, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to our fourth video in our series for Unit 2, Area Study 2, Equity and Efficiency for VCE Economics. So far, we've talked about a lot to do with equity, the different types of property, income distribution, and how it is measured. Whereas today, we're gonna to be getting more into the efficiency side of things, which is really gonna be recapping some of the things you've talked about already in hopefully strong and sustainable economic growth. We're gonna specifically look at allocative and technical efficiency and how the achievement of those impact our ability to achieve equity. So when we look at our uh, key knowledge over here, what we're gonna be looking at is the meaning of economic efficiency and its benefits to achieving uh, allocative and technical efficiency and some of the costs and benefits of achieving equity in income distribution and the compatibility and conflict. They all kind of blend together. It's pretty simple and clear. And then next lesson, we're gonna to start to look at some of the role of markets and budgetary policy decisions. So economic efficiency is all about finding either more productive ways or um, to use our resources that helps improve our productive capacity and increase our production overall. So as you see on the side here, I've got an image of Homer Simpson saying, see, the problem is communication, too much communication. Um, part of my issue with working as a teacher is that often there are meetings that take up to an hour that are just information delivery that could be an email. And that hour could have been used for different production, like that could have been used a lot more effectively and then we would be more efficient. So say for example, I'm recording this video during a class where my students are watching another video of mine that I recorded remotely. I'm trying to be efficient with my resources to maximize the overall like learning output. And so efficiency is all about trying to use our resources, in this case, my labor resources and capital because I'm using a microphone or webcam, computer, etc., to try and increase the overall capacity and maximize production. And we try and do this in many different ways within the economy. So with our specific two that we're going to look at, we have allocative efficiency. So with allocative efficiency, it is where the resources are allocated in a way that there is no better combination of goods and services produced or no better combination of production that would better maximize living standards. So this is the best it can be and any other um, combination of resource allocation would make living standards worse. Um, so in allocative efficiency, things are likely to be a little bit more equitable because we are doing things that are gonna help everyone's living standards overall. Um, and so there are some issues with this, like some of the reasons why we struggle to achieve allocative efficiency is that some socially undesirable goods and services are very profitable. So businesses produce those rather than producing things that will benefit us like education, health, medicines, all those kind of things. And so allocative efficiency is when the combination of goods and services best maximizes our living standards. And then a more common one that we look at, especially next year in year 12, because it helps answer a lot questions is technical efficiency, which is producing at the lowest cost possible for the highest possible output, or sometimes we say using the least possible inputs for the maximum possible output. It's when you are basically cutting costs to maximize your profitability or maximize the overall amount you can produce with the least possible. So there are some different impacts of this. So Sometimes to try and produce more, businesses will lay off workers and try and get more out of their current workers. They might replace them with technology. So we see this with self-serve checkouts and McDonald's, and supermarkets, etc. This creates what we call structural unemployment when you lay off workers and replace them with technology. Um, sometimes though, we can achieve technical efficiency in a positive way. We can do it through education and training. We can do it through research and development. And therefore we can start producing more with the same resources we have but just have them work more effectively. Like sometimes we measure this in GDP per hour work. So seeing that labor is getting more efficient, that would also help us achieve technical efficiency without having the negative impacts of people losing their employment and losing their incomes. So some of the effects of achieving efficiency overall, pursuing allocative efficiency is great for equity because it's about becoming more, um, because if we become more allocatively efficient, things will need to become more equitable for living standards to be maximized. So it might mean producing less of things that are negative for society because we are producing more of the positive things. So um, once we start looking at the government a little bit more specifically next lesson, we'll talk about a few things like the fact of increasing welfare at the moment because um, there are not a lot of jobs available and the cost of living is quite expensive. 
and things are getting more expensive because there's short supply of things like meat, vegetables, etc. So increasing welfare makes us more allocatively efficient because people's living standards can be maximized. On the other hand, like we said just before, technical efficiency can go either way. So cost cutting by businesses can lead to structural unemployment, which decreases equity, but it can also lead to lower positive prices in the long run, which is positive, or like we said before, if it's through education and training or research and development, you can have the same amount of labor, but producing more because they're more effective and therefore maximizing profitability for the business, but also meaning we are being more efficient in general. And that's basically the majority of it. So some other issues about if we push for technical efficiency too much and it leads to greater in inequity, it can lead to some of those social problems we talked about with um, poverty earlier about the high crime rates and all those kind of things. But this is the like general what you need to know about it. And that's it for this quick little um, recap really of what efficiency is. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you need any help at all, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me an email. My email is in the description below. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and look forward to next time when we talk about the role of markets in um, determining equity and efficiency, as well as how governments can pursue equity through um, the tax system, so progressive tax rates, etc., and then also through the way they give out transfer payments through welfare. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.